welcome back. You are live with Expresso. Thank you so much for tuning in on this beautiful Wednesday morning. Hump day, of course, freewheeling down to the weekend and Valentine's Day. And I think it's easy to forget about me time in this humdrum, busy world of ours, especially if you're a parent, I think. Or maybe within your relationship, you need to focus more on yourself. We're going to do that right now. A very good morning to you, Expresso family. We are coming to you live this morning, live from Johannesburg with our resident human potential and parenting expert, Nikki Bush. And today we're going to be discussing the topic of all things me time, especially seeing that it is the month of love. It's Valentine's week happening on Friday this week, and this topic is so relevant. How do you balance being a parent, your marriage, and of course, everything else in between? Nikki, a very warm welcome to you this morning. Thank you, Tsulu. All the way from Johannesburg for the very first time. Eh? Yes, very exciting. <laughs> Let's jump straight into it, Nikki. I mean, a lot of the time, parents feel the pressure to take care of everyone else besides themselves. The kids, you know, preparing them from school, driving them to and from school, you know, helping them with their homework and everything else in between, often neglecting themselves. Why is me time so important? So, no, when you become a parent, everything changes. Uh, there's not a part of your mind, your body, or your emotions that has not been shifted in some way. And it's very natural to want to nurture and to give, especially as a woman. Uh, you are biologically wired to nurture and protect. And so your time becomes really, really stretched. We are sleep deprived when we have children. Uh, we're tired. We're mostly these days working and being parents. So we have two jobs in a day. We have the work job and we have the parenting job. And often you come home in the afternoon or the evening from, from work and you start the second job of the day, the second to-do list of the day. And it really is quite exhausting. But how do we as individuals keep filling our children's emotional cups if our emotional cup is empty? And that's the question that we should be asking ourselves is how do we fill our cup, our own cup, so that we can keep giving? And self-care can be seen as selfish or it can be seen as essential. And I think it is essential and it's so important to role model for our children what self-care looks like. And I think often if you're in a relationship, the relationship tends to take a back seat when you become a parent as well. Uh, there's not a lot of time for date nights. There's not a lot of time um, when you don't have a child in your room or in your bed or in your space or in your bathroom. So it's important that we do take time out for me time, for alone time, as well as as a couple, so if you've got a partner or a spouse, we do have to prioritize that too, because there is a saying that the best way to love a child is to love their mother. And that is something to bear in mind, but the nature of how we love each other tends to change when there's not a lot of time at our disposal. Um, having said that, Nikki, I mean, there's always sort of a sense of guilt that comes with parents taking time out to look after themselves. Why? is this? <laughs> so Lou, you just hit the jugular here. The G word, I call it. And every parent at some point experiences a sense of guilt. The problem with guilt is that it puts your children in the driver's seat. You actually relinquish control. And when you relinquish control, there's never a leadership vacuum. The children will always step in and try and take control when they feel everything is out of control. So very, very important that we do take ourselves out for maybe an alone time coffee date every now and again. Literally 15, 20 minutes once a week, whether you're the mum or the dad, take yourself out for some, I call it unintentional, sorry, intentional white space, where we create white space in a life that almost looks like a blur. There's so much happening time when we don't expect ourselves to do anything, where we quite literally sit and do nothing and try and throw off the guilt word because it doesn't serve us and it doesn't serve our children. Absolutely. And just building on that point of serving our children, Nikki, why is it important to nurture and look after the relationship between yourself and your spouse and how does that benefit your children? So, that relationship is the primary relationship and it's the container in which you hold your children. So it's very important that our children see us looking after that relationship, keeping it as solid as possible so that they feel safe and secure.
Thank you very much, Nikki. As you've heard it from Nikki, it's so important to look after yourself as a parent as it benefits not only you, but the entire family as well. Our business is not done with Nikki Bush. Um, when we get back, we are going to be discussing a little bit more about the benefits of um, looking after your marriage or your spouse and how can that impact on your children. But for now, it's back to you guys in studio. It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. You're live with Expresso. Thank you so much for tuning in. Beautiful Wednesday morning. And, of course, we're taking the time to uh, express some self-love. It's all about me time this morning. We're going to be chatting to our parenting expert, Nikki Bush. But we asked you guys at home how you spend your me time. And a couple of people have weighed in with some pretty cool examples. Langalitla is saying, morning, fam. I usually spend my time reading self-help books. Great. Working out at the gym and also trying to design my future. I like that. All encompassing. And then Seams weighing in saying, good morning, fam. Sending you that love right back at you. I spend my time listening to music in my bedroom, thinking about my future. I can picture it right now. Well, you can start thinking about how you want to express some self-love and some me time as a couple with Nikki Bush. A very good morning to you, Expresso family. Now, if you've just tuned in, we are coming to you live from Johannesburg with our resident human potential and parenting expert, Nikki Bush. And today's topic is about taking care of yourself and taking care of the relationship that you have between your spouse and yourself and how that can benefit your kids, especially seeing that it is Valentine's Day this week. Nikki, I want to kick off this segment by asking you, why is it important for kids to see that mom and dad or dad and dad or mom and mom are in a healthy relationship? So there's such a good question because as I said in the last segment, the relationship is the container that holds the family safe and secure. Whether you are a single parent, that would be a container, or whether you are with somebody else, that would be the container. We have to understand that when we get together and create a family, we create a new entity. And that requires reinvention. We're no longer just two people. We are now a, we're a team. A family is a child's first team. And when you have the first child, a new entity is created. When you have another child, a second child or a third child, we have to keep going through the process of reinventing what togetherness looks like. Togetherness is a state of being, and we role model that for our children. Getting along, being part of a team, sharing, caring, nurturing, and to keep doing that on a consistent basis in a healthy way, we also need to take time for ourselves. So in a healthy relationship, we need to give each other time off every now and again so that each person has some alone time uh, to refill their fuel tanks, refill their love tanks, to go and do something that energizes them. Because parenting is a, lo is a lot of give. There's a lot of output. How are you refilling your cup so that you can keep giving out? So when you have a relationship, two people living together with a child, it's really important that you also take time for the relationship, that your kids see you going out maybe on date night every now and again. And what I find interesting is that when parents go out on a date night, they spend the entire evening talking about their children. <laughs> <laughs> so it's important that you do stuff that maybe is not child focused and perhaps that means going out and having an experience versus going out and having dinner or lunch and when I say going and having, having an experience it might be that you go and do something physical you go for a walk or you go for a hike um, you do something that gets you outdoors that gets you away from the children uh, something that's maybe going to create a new memory even going to a movie would be a great thing and try not to talk about the kids when you're out <laughs> very very difficult ask me my children are 20 and 24 and for years and years we kept going out and going why are we talking about the kids? Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, Nikki, you touched on it briefly just now, but just expand a little bit more about how, um, why is it important for kids, or rather, how can we create a model for kids to sort of follow in building their own romantic or um, relationships when they get older? So I think you just touched on something. You said romantic relationship. In the real world, it's not like Prince Charming and the princess meet and it's happily ever after. Relationships take a lot of work and they need to be looked after, otherwise they die. It's like a fire. You need to keep feeding and fueling this fire to keep it going. And that takes work, it takes commitment, it takes 
being um, caring of the other person, looking after the other person's needs and sharing and dividing and conquering what we have to do every single day because there's a lot of doing in family, family time. So sharing the chores is actually one of the ways we take care of each other and getting the kids involved in those chores is also a great way of showing love to each other. Now, Nick, it's Valentine's Day on Friday, and I want to know from you, should we have a family day to celebrate Valentine's Day, or should we keep it between the spouses? Well, in my own experience, Valentine's Day usually falls on a weekday night. It's a hard night to go out. I tend to do Valentine's dinners for the entire family, where we, we go around the table and we share something about each other that we love. Mm. I love you because... Mm. Um, and. It's a beautiful sharing moment. Get the kids involved in creating paper placemats. Fold red and white paper in half. They cut out a heart. Those are the placemats. And everybody gets involved in the Valentine's dinner. It's about the fact that we're a team and we love each other. I love that. I totally love that. As you've heard from our relationship expert, Nikki Bush, Valentine's Day is not just about hearts and chocolates between lovers. Get the whole family involved. Thank you very much for joining us this um, morning, Nikki. We look forward to touching base with you again next week. But for now, it is back to you guys in studio.